Welcome back to our lesson about momentum. This time, we're going to solve problems using the general formula of momentum. The symbol is P. The unit is kilogram meter per second. Mathematically, express as P equals to M multiplied by V, where P is equal to momentum, M equals to mass, V equals to velocity. So now let's try to answer this word problem. Determine the momentum of an electron having a mass of 9.1 times 10 raised to negative 31 kilogram, moving at 2.18 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second, as if it were in a Bohr orbit in the hydrogen atom. In solving problems involving momentum, first, let us identify the given values. For problem letter A, the given values are mass is equal to 9.1 times 10 raised to negative 31 kilogram and velocity is 2.18 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second. Using the formula P equals to M times V, substitute the given values as mass is 9.1 times 10 raised to negative 31 kilogram multiplied by 2.18 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second. And that will give us an answer of 1.98 times 10 raised to negative 24 kilogram meter per second. A problem letter B. Determine the momentum of a 0.45 caliber bullet with a mass of 0.162 kg leaving the muzzle of a gun at 860 meter per second. Similar to problem letter A, identify the given values. Substitute the given values to the general formula and solve. Mass is equal to 0.162 kg and velocity is 860 meter per second. And the answer is 139.32 kilogram meter per second. Now, let us try if you can solve the following problems involving momentum. For problem letter C, determine the momentum of 110 kilogram professional pullback running across the line at 9.2 meter per second. The answer for problem letter C is 1,012 kilogram meter per second. And finally, problem letter D. Determine the momentum of a 360,000 kilogram passenger plane taxiing down a runway at 1.5 meter per second. And the answer is 540,000 kilogram meter per second. And for the assignment next week, answer the following questions. Number one, some cars are provided with airbags to protect the driver and the front passenger. Explain how an airbag works. Number two, a car is running at a speed of 80 km per hour when a cow suddenly appears in the middle of the road. To avoid running over the cow, the driver has two options. Either he bumps his car at the concrete road or at a haystack. Which of these should he do to minimize the damage to his car? Number three, a person is better of falling on mud ground than on a concrete pavement. Explain why. I hope you learned something about our lesson on momentum. Again, I am Sir Jomar Urbano from San Jose National High School. And thank you for watching Teleturuan and see you all again for our next lessons. Good night.